Hi, it's Jazz, and today I want to talk to you about persistence. I actually share a story uh, with uh, you guys about uh, my daughter. Uh, the other day, as I'm writing these 40 blogs in 40 days or 40 gratitudes in 40 days, you know, I didn't feel like uh, after a long 10 hour day at a real estate conference and coming home, uh, felt like writing a blog that day. So, you know, I was reminded of my daughter. Uh, and let me share that uh, blog with you guys. So I'm going to actually read it uh, so you'll understand it uh, to the, the point that I would like you to. So it's uh, Daddy G, you got to persist to succeed. Uh, to be honest uh, with all of you, I really don't really feel like writing today after an early morning start, then volunteering for 10 hours at a realtor fundraiser. I felt like just kicking my feet up, grabbing a cup of chai and chilling. But then the words of my daughter resonated in my ears and here I am writing her story as this was a moment in my life I'll never forget as a father. You see, I remember coming home late one evening when my daughter was in grade three or four. She was doing her math homework and needed some help. I looked at the questions and they weren't simple. So tired and seeing it was nearly 10 p.m., I said, KJ, don't worry about it. Go to sleep. It's only a math exercise and no nine-year-old should be up this late doing math homework. Her response still rings in my ears. Daddy G? G means a uh, term of respect, you know. Uh, you said, if we don't persist, we cannot succeed in life. Yes, she said that. She repeated, you said, if we don't persist, we cannot succeed in life, which is true. In my head, I'm thinking, Damn it, really? What she said was obviously true. However, I knew that this exercise would have no bearing whatsoever on her adult life. However, I also knew my words did. So I sucked up my tiredness and went to work helping her. Within 30 minutes, we were finished and she was able to go to sleep knowing that she persisted and she succeeded. Remember that. Now, she persisted and she succeeded. To this day, she is 15 now. She still has that strong personality a father would love in, in his daughter. That whatever project she starts, she's going to finish, no matter how long it takes her. I think that's something she's picked up from me. Nah, I'm just joking. But to persist is so difficult, you know, if you don't agree with me, try it. I challenge you. Just the simple act of writing a 40-day gratitude journal on a daily basis. It'll change your life, but I can guarantee after a week, it will become a chore for you. If you persist and finish, the sense of accomplishment and confidence that it will manifest in you will be priceless. Forget MasterCard priceless. This is even more priceless. I've done it and believe you can too. But will you? I don't know. I know writing 40 stories of living in Canada will take a lot of discipline. And I did it. And I challenge you. Try it. A gratitude journal for 40 days. Write something you are grateful for every single day. Spend that 10 to 15 minutes or half an hour. And it will change your life. So I would love to hear your journey. Share your stories below. And if you liked it, please like it and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Cheers. Thank you.